Let's look at how you can create a portfolio website for yourself as a virtual assistant or a social media manager. A portfolio website is a digital platform that showcases your experience, your skills, uh, uh, um, things about you and um, your best projects. Okay, so we are going to be looking at how we can do this using Canva. You can do it either on your smartphone or on your computer. Okay, so without wasting so much time let's get into it all right so when you come to all right um creating a portfolio in canva um when you open your canva application just like this on your home page you click on create a design so when you click on create a design you're going to type in websites you're going to search for websites and you're going to pick this first or this 1366 by 768 pixels website and um, design format. Okay. So um under here you will see different kinds of website that you can create. You can see um proper website, a portfolio, food blog, a landing page, and so on. But for the purpose of this video, we are looking at portfolio, right? But um, you are now going to come here and search for a virtual assistant portfolio, okay? So you're going to just type on this search bar, virtual assistant portfolio, and here you're going to see different samples that you can use. All you just need to do is pick one that resonates with you or something that you can easily uh, edit. So just pick a template and you're going to edit that template, all right? All right, so... Now that we found our template to use, all we need to do is to edit this template to suit our, our preference or to suit what we are using it for, which is our portfolio, okay? So, all right, so I've edited my name. I need to add in my picture here. So I'm just going to select picture from my gallery and drag it into this place. Then you will post your um, a link where people can easily get in touch with you. So I prefer maybe your WhatsApp uh, link. You can link it so that gets in touch. So about me, you can, you're going to write something uh, here for yourself. It's a, like an, a summary of you know, what you have done, what you can do and all that, that will, a client can quickly glance through and be able to know what um, you have been able to do. So you can also add your, let me see the other pages, experience, okay. So this is your experience. So you can add um, things you have done before, work, um, work, some works that you have done. So you can add a subheading here, um, some work I have done. Okay, so some work I've done. You can reduce this depending. So you can, you know, take a screenshot of things that you have done. Probably you've done web designing before, you've done uh, social media management before. So just take the screenshot of some of these things just to show that um, you can do um, this work, okay? So I already have some of these things here on my system. So I'm just going to upload them here into Canva and I'll bring them, drag them down to this part because the essence of a portfolio is to showcase your skill what you've done before and to tell the clients that i am able to do this for you all right so i have some website sample here i'm going to drag them down there i have another one okay so i'm going to move down a bit still do stay hard some so here is another one that I have done. So you can just write a little bit of, um, you know, had something here that, let me see, just had a text here to showcase uh, something that you can, you know, to convince someone to hire you. All right. So this may be too long, but, you know, I, I just have to put something here. So depending, just had something related. Okay. Then remember to also edit all this part. Okay, so we still come down here. You can still add more. Okay, so now you want to put the details of the work. So this, for example, now is uh, a website for a real estate company or real estate. Or let me just say a real estate website. So 
So this is another one, working with WordPress. So here is the social media, social media management, all right? So you want to put the details of the works that you've done before. And so here is another one. Here is another website, event website. Okay, so lastly, the ones you don't need, you can delete. So you don't have to fill in everything, especially if you don't have something you want to put in there. But if you do, then you want to um, you want to put it there so that to showcase your your work, right? All right. So when I'm done, so I'm done with this part. Some of the work that I've done. So experience. You want to share your experience. So you are a freelance, um, maybe social media manager. Just put it put that there. Social media manager. So you start from the recent, right? Start from the recent. So the year you started. So I'm just going to add um twenty twenty three still present. So um customer support. I'm going to add the year. So from let's say twenty nineteen to twenty twenty two. Then you you, keep, you put the name. Sorry, twenty. 22 to 23. So you have the company's name. All right. So um, you have this also um, executive assistant or admin assistant. Admin assistant. So you, you put the date and you have the company just like you've done before. So 2019 to 2022. So you put the company's name. Don't mind me just trying to. All right. So now that we are done with them, um, then just add one of your photos showing you working here. All right. So let me find something. I don't even have anything like that, but let's just check. Okay. I'm trying to use my personal photos so that I don't use some a client uh, picture here. All right, so, 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 okay, so I'm going to have this, right? Okay. So get in touch. You want to add your contact, all right? But for me, I would have loved to add um, another page that talks about my, the, some tools that I work with. So permit me, I'm going to do that. So I'm just going to copy this. Before, before I had the contact page, so tools I work with, or you can add skills, you can add another page that talks about your skills and the rest. So you can, for me, I'm just going to add all these pictures right here to show some of the tools that I can use. You don't need to put the name, you can put the name. And another thing you can do for this part is to add your to add your skills, organizational skills, um, interpersonal skills, and every other skills that you know that you have that is related to the job. Then I'm also going to add one other part. I'm going to leave this as it is. Then I'm going to add another page. And this page is going to contain testimonies from previous clients, okay? So you want to also add something like uh, reviews from past clients or just testimonials or just reviews. Now, this is just to show your prospective clients that you know what you're doing. So here, I have some testimonies here. So I'm going to just paste it right here. So that is all, right? I have, I think, just two here. So you can have as many as possible, depending on what you are trying to do. Then when you are done, you save. So I'm going to move this page, this page down. I'm going to rearrange the pages. I'm going to rearrange the pages. So I'm going to move this down. So the get in touch is going to be the last page. So find something relating to your 
to your work and had it there. Put your address, put your phone number, put your email, and you'll be done. So the last thing you should do is to customize this to your brand colors. You don't want to just use something, any color that just come there. You want to put it right, okay? So, okay. So this is the last thing you will do here to customize to your brand colors because you don't want to just use the color that you found in the template, all right? It's going to, well, if, if it resonates with you, you can leave it, but if it does not, just customize to your business or brand colors. So, and when you are done, you can also change the font of the text if you're not okay with that. Like, the, I'm okay with this, but you can change this. All you just need to do is come to the, when you click on the fonts like this, you will see the font type, font type here. Then you can now choose whichever one that you feel like changing it to, all right? So this is not also bad. So when you are done, you will need to name your website, all right? You will come here and put it, put a name there. So Talkwares, I'm going to put it Talkwares Portfolio. Portfolio. So that is the name I'm giving it. And when you are done with every edit, you will click on publish. But before then, you can just click on preview first. It will show you how your website is going to look like when it is opened on both uh, a laptop and on a phone. So this is what it's going to look like. You can see. So when it's on a laptop, it looks like this. All right. Then if it is on the phone, this is what, if somebody is viewing it from the phone, it's going to look like this. So if you are okay with how it looks like, during the preview, then the next thing you need to do is publish the website. So you click on publish. You click on publish, then this is your website link. Then, so immediately you publish it, someone can see, view it. So copy, so you can edit that link if you want. For example, like this name, you want to just put it to portfolio, right? So that you will know what kind of website you are working on. So you can see now, you click on publish. After some few seconds, your website will be ready. Then you can copy the link and share it to your clients, your prospective clients. So let's view the websites from here. You can see the name Top West Portfolio and you can see what it looks like. Of course, this may not be the best, but you know, we have something to showcase your work. You can also add um, other pages as you feel like, like um, your services, what you can do for the clients. Uh, like I said, your skills and everything. So you can add as much as, you know, different uh, pages that you feel you need to add, the information that you need to have in your portfolio. All right. So that is it about creating portfolio using Canva. Go ahead and do yours now and uh, ensure to put in your best uh, project and your contact details for your next clients to discover and also contact you all right so if you are yet to subscribe to our channel please try and do so and also like and share this video for others to see i'll see you again another time